Welcome back Danny Cooks guys and today I have no idea what we're cooking and the reason is because we're in Melbourne and we're going to head to the market I'm going to buy a bunch of ingredients and I'm going to come back here and cook for the crew now this is how I normally cook when I'm cooking for friends and family I don't really have a recipe in my head until I see the ingredients so I kind of wanted to bring you along on that journey so let's get to the markets and find some food but first let's get some coffee ciao Uncle Tony So here we are, South Island Market. This is one of my favorite places to go grocery shopping. Just gonna get some produce and make some lunch. Can I grab two of those lamb uh, loin roasts? Thank you very much. All right, we're back, what did we get? So, white asparagus, haven't seen this in a while, well, I haven't seen it since last spring, actually. So we're gonna do that with some ham and some chive, a little bit of uh, a mustard dressing as well. Also, synonymous with springtime, we've got some lovely lamb uh, loin roasts, so we'll roast those really simply. And then the other recipe we're gonna do is a rice salad. So we've got some brown basmati rice and some wild red rice that we're gonna, that we'll cook off and we'll serve that with some of these orange and yellow peppers, some pine nuts, some cranberries and some fresh herbs. I've got a bit of uh, dolphin wise cheese for, for afterwards as well, um, but let's get stuck in. Before we start though, do me a huge favor and just go chuck me a like on this video and subscribe if you're not. All right, first things first, when you're dealing with these rices, especially these darker colored ones, is you wanna make sure that you soak them. And you can even soak them overnight if you've got time. Uh, I'll, I'll leave these soaking for an hour. Um, I wouldn't stress too much about overnight, but just in lots of water. I like to use more of the brown rice to the red rice. So there you go, we'll leave these out of the way for now. Just in lots of water soaking. If you're gonna leave them to soak overnight, make sure you leave it, do it in the fridge. I'm gonna preface this by saying, this is an Airbnb, I don't have my knives with me. This is all I've got to work with. And to further that, uh, never use one of these chopping boards to cut with. This is a piece of slate of, of marble. Uh, it's really not great for your knives, but here we are. So I've got three of these, each of these small ones, yellow and orange, but you can use whatever ones you want. And we're just gonna cut them into, into nice small dice. Not small, sort of one centimeter square. So that's what we're looking for. All right, we're gonna get our lamb in the oven now. So I've got the oven set to 200 degrees. So this is a lamb loin. This is basically the eye fillet part. And then this is the belly part rolled under. And they've just rolled it around in the fat, put a bit of rosemary in the top. We're just gonna give them a drizzle of olive oil and roll that around so it's completely covered. Season the other underside. So make sure you season all the way around, super important. All right, so that's in a 200 degree oven. Um, I'm gonna check that at 30 minutes. I'm gonna cook that to like medium. Uh, I don't have a thermometer to probe here, so I can't do that style. I'm just gonna have to go by intuition. I'll check it at 30 minutes and then we'll see how we're going. All right, so for the salad, we're gonna start with the dry pan over a high heat and we're gonna toast our pine nuts. So we're just gonna to toast these till they're nice and golden brown. Shouldn't take more than five or six minutes. All right, same pan, another good drizzle of olive oil. In with our capsicums. Salt, just salt for now. Just starting to develop color on these. We wanna cook them so that they're still al dente, they're still firm to the bite. But before we get all the way, we wanna season them. So, teaspoon of, well, Teaspoon and a half of smoked paprika, and the same of dry or ground cumin. Cook these spices out a bit, and we're good to go. All right, so these are done, heat's off. Add your pine nuts back in, and your dried cranberries. Give it a toss, and then we're gonna put it on a plate and let it cool. All right, so with this type of rice, I prefer to not do the evaporation method and to start cooking them in boiling water. And I find you get a much better consistency for a rice salad. You don't have like steamy, fluffy rice. You have individual grains, which are gonna stir through a salad easier. So we've got our pots with fresh water, our uh, soaked rice drained off. We're gonna season this water well with salt and then bring it up to a boil. 
So, boiling water, soaked rice in. So this has been in here half an hour. You see by how much fat's rendered off as well. Um, but it's looking good. I can't probe this, so I'm literally going by feel. And I reckon we're cooked. So I'm actually just gonna leave that now and let it rest. All right, rice is cooked and drained. So we're just gonna put it into a bigger dish. Uh, we're gonna mix the two rices together. And then we're gonna address it with a little bit of olive oil for now. And then we're gonna shove it in the fridge just to cool down more. Little season. So you can see here we've got perfectly cooked rice that's not sticking together at all. And it's you know really individual grains of rice, which is what we're looking for. All right, we're gonna put this in the fridge just to cool down a bit. We don't want it cold, but we just don't want it piping hot. All right, quick dressing for the asparagus. Two teaspoons, heaped teaspoons of mustard, Dijon mustard. Juice of half a lemon. If you get a pip in it, don't worry about it. This is home cooking. Season of salt, a little bit of honey. Say a teaspoon. And good glug of olive oil. Give it a mix. Delicious. We've got some chives. Now, I'm trying to chop chives with this knife. This doesn't make sense. And you want, to, you want finely chopped chives, but I'll just be happy if I get chopped chives with this knife rather than bruised chives. So, asparagus. Now, some people do this thing where they snap it. I'm not really a huge fan of that. I think just use your um, intuition as to how far down to go through. And if you cut through it, and it feels really hard and woody, you probably haven't cut quite deep enough. So, I reckon about three or four centimeters up, and you should be all right. See like that? That was too hard, I could hear it. It was too woody, so I'm gonna take a little bit more. Then, we're just gonna simply blanch this in boiling water. All right, so here's our asparagus that was in the water for about three minutes in total. And then to dress it, just gonna drizzle our Dijon mustard and honey over it. Give it a little toss. Generous amount of chives. And then, this is really optional, but I really like this with a little bit of ham and the warmth of the asparagus just warms through the ham. So this is Serrano ham. You can use prosciutto or bayon or none, just leave it like that. All right, so the rice salad, our cooked rice, our capsicum, pine nuts and cranberries, zest of a lemon, had some leftover chives from the asparagus and lots of torn mint. Last little season of salt. Good glug of olive oil. Juice of the lemon. And there we have it, our brown rice salad <laughs> with cranberry, pine nuts, and capsicum. Time to see if I've cooked this lamb all right. I'm gonna make all the excuses under the sun if it's not. Didn't have a thermometer, it's not my oven. It's really, it's just my fault. And I've got this same silly knife to carve it with. Moment of truth. I'm gonna go straight down the middle. Best chance of it not being overcooked. Oh, it's not bad, it's a little bit over, but it's better than I thought it was gonna be. Thanks for watching legends, I hope you took something from this. Chuck me a like if you did, subscribe if you're not, and we'll see you next Sunday back in our new space up in the Sunshine Coast. Peace.
sun's just like straight in my face. <laughs> Thanks for watching, legends. What was I gonna say? What do I always say? Um, like and subscribe. Really helps my channel. <laughs> Girls dragging at a concert. <laughs> 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 <laughs>